question number four. The school plans to collect £200 between January and May. This chart shows how much they collected by the end of April. And the target was £200. Write the name of each month where they collected more than £50. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to first of all write where each line on each bar is level with. So, this line is level with 0, this line is level with 20, this line, well, if that's 70, because it's between 60 and 80, this line here is going to be between 70 and 80, so this line is probably going to be 75. This line's bang on 100, and this line, well, that would be 170, so between 160 and 170 is going to be 165. Now we do that, we can actually work out how much they actually got in each month. So from 0 to 20, that's just going to be £20. From 20 to 7, up to 75, that's another £55. So 20 plus 55 takes you to 75. 75 up to 100 is £25. And 100 up to 165 is £65. So these amounts are the, in blue here are the actual amounts that they made in each month. So write the name of each month where they collected more than £50. Well, 20 is not more than 50, so we're not writing January, but 55 is more than 50, so we do need to write Feb. We could write February, but they'll know what, even they haven't written February, so they've just written Feb. So Feb would be okay if you're not sure how to spell February. If you do want to write the full month, there we go, February. £25 in March is not more than 50, so we're not writing that, but £65 in April is more than 50. So April is the other month we need to write there. If we scroll down, there's a second part of the question. How much money did they collect in February and March altogether? Well, we've already worked out here that February was £55 and March was £25. So altogether, we need to add them together. So some of you can probably do this in your head, but if you can't do it in your head, then here we go. So February was £55 and March was £25. So let's add those together and see what we get. You, some of you will know that the answer is going to be £80. Well, let's just double check. 5 and 5 is 10, so you put the 0 in and carry the 1. 5 plus 2 is 7, plus that 1 is 8. The final answer is indeed £80. There we go. But as I said right at the start of the question, it's a lot easier to actually write the numbers onto the bars straight away so you can see more clearly what you're dealing with. Please don't be shy of writing numbers on a chart because it does make your life a lot easier on questions like this.